All right, now it's time to learn how to treat our own rhomboids and get these sticky trigger points to really release effectively and quickly. So we're actually gonna go into three different positions and ways to hold a happy gun while you're doing your self-treatment. The first is we're gonna do the back scratcher method. So you're gonna take your gun, hike all the way up on the handle to the very end, and then you're just gonna relax and drop that gun down in there. You're gonna be on level two with the flathead, and the gun is gonna be sitting at about a 90 degree to a 45 degree angle all along your muscles. You're gonna use the edge of that flat head and do vertical strokes up and down right along the inside of your scapula. Amazing job. Okay, and now we're gonna to start to incorporate breath. So you're gonna do an inhale and try to direct your breath into this area, holding it, and then exhale. There you go, and you can move the gun up and down or you can keep it on any particular area of this muscle group, just depending on how it feels best for you. So that's the first way to reach the rhomboid. Now we're gonna do a crossover and we're gonna bring it to the opposing side. Depending on your shoulder mobility, one or the other might be more comfortable for you. You might be able to get more leverage. Now, the benefit of doing the crossover is you're able to have movement on this arm. This side is able to be totally engaged and relaxed. So a couple motions that we can incorporate in with the crossover is we can put our arm behind our back, press that elbow back. While we inhale, you wanna hold that breath in there and then slowly bring that elbow forward as you exhale. This is a very quick way to release a lot of those knots that hide out under that shoulder blade that are so hard to get out. Again, you're gonna pull that arm back while you inhale and hold it and then slowly exhale and relax that arm forward. Great job. All right, and this is method three of how to hold the gun while you're treating your rhomboid. So we're gonna go underneath now. So you're gonna turn the gun on level two with your flathead, and then you're going to wrap around and hold. And then it usually feels best to go all the way up on the handle. And then you can just hold the gun there and gently move it. Now, the great thing about the happy gun is that the travel with the hammer is 16 millimeters and that is gonna be giving you a deep tissue massage even if you're holding the gun at an angle, which is what makes this device extremely effective and powerful in a short amount of um, treatment time. Great job, Olivia. And then go ahead and relax. So the, under, the underhanded um, motion works best for some people. Um, however, it's going to, it's not gonna give you the same amount of um, play and you're not gonna be able to do as much motion and movement with it. Mm -hmm. But whatever works for you, find that out. Um, some of our clients also use the, the couch cushions and they'll put the gun in between the couch cushions, propping in different ways or in between the couch cushions and then they'll lay on it. So you can kind of play around and see what works best for you with accessing that area.